Hi friends, what's up? This is our K Phone 360 Reader. It's time to talk about the best tips to fix Apple Free Format not working on iPhone and iPad. If you are on the lookout for a one stop destination to let you draw, sketch, and also jot down your ideas with precision, Apple's brand new Free Format is for you. Packed with a wide range of tools, the app lets you carry out your tasks with better control. Moreover, you can also enable iCloud syncing and collaborate with others on projects. Sadly, Apple Freeform app is not working for some users. If you have also run into the same problem, check out these viable tips to fix the problem. That said, let's jump right in. Before getting started, make sure you have subscribed our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon so that you won't miss any update from 360 Reader. First off, I would recommend you to force quit the Apple Free Format. If the app is freezing or crashing randomly, force killing may resolve the problem. On your iPhone and iPad, without the home button, swipe up from the bottom of the screen and hold along the middle of the screen. After that, swipe up on the Freeform app card to force quit the app. And on your iPhone and iPad, with the home button, you have to double press the home button to bring up the app switcher. And after that, swipe up on the app card to force quit the app. Now open the Freeform app and try using it to check if the issue is gone. If it has, you are good to go. Next up, I would recommend you to reboot your iPhone or iPad. Since this nifty hack has the knack for fixing annoying issues, I'm counting on it to fix the problem as well. Therefore, make sure to give it a try as well. Then I would suggest you to force reset your iPhone. When it comes to fixing frustrating issues, force reset aka hard reset has a great track record. So make sure to give it a shot as well. To do so, just press and quickly release the volume up button, then press and quickly release the volume down button. Then you have to hold down the side button or the top button until you see the Apple logo on the screen. Next up, I would suggest you to make sure to enable iCloud for the Apple Freeform app. If you are unable to share a Freeform project with anyone, ensure that you have turned on iCloud for the app. To do so, open the Settings app on your iPhone or iPad. After that, tap on the Apple ID banner at the top. Then tap on iCloud. Then tap on Show All. Now turn on the toggle for Freeform and then make sure to hit Merge to merge all the existing local Freeform. Then open the Freeform app and then hit All Boards. After that, go to the board that you would like to share and then hit the share icon and then choose the medium through which you would like to share the board. Once your friend has accepted your invitation, the collaboration will begin straight away. After that, I would suggest you to delete and reinstall the free format. The reason why I recommend you to try this solution is that it has the knack for fixing many app related issues. Therefore give it a try. To do so, just touch and hold the app icon and then hit remove app in the pop-up menu. After that, tap on delete app and then confirm the deletion. Then open the app store and search for Freeform and install it as usual. Then I would suggest you to factory reset your device. Though factory reset is radical as it cleans up all the existing settings, you should go for it as it has a great track record for fixing annoying issues. To do so, open the settings app on your iPhone or iPad. After that, tap on general. Then you have to scroll down to the bottom and tap on transfer or reset iPhone or iPad. Then hit reset. After that, tap on reset all settings and confirm the action. And finally, I would recommend you to update the software on your device. If nothing has worked in fixing the freeform issues, I suspect a software bug could be at the heart of the problem. Therefore, updating the software could help you get rid of the issue. To do so, open the settings app on your iPhone or iPad. Then tap on general. After that, tap on software update and finally download and install the latest iteration of iOS or iPadOS as usual. That's all there is to it. So these are the best tips and tricks to fix free for map not working on iPhone and iPad. Hopefully you have gotten the better of the problem. If you have found this video helpful, do like and share it and I'll see you in the next video. Till then, stay safe and have a great time. Bye-bye.